So this is going to be the air sign reading. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to. Someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Different people that they're attached to. Different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, so what do we have for air signs? We have the hermit. Eight of wands. And then the sun card. So somebody had been researching something. Yeah, a page of swords on the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody who have been investigating something or someone. And it's like whatever they have been researching, investigating, um, gaining some type of inner guidance. It's causing some type of swift change, like a quick decision to be made. Because it's like something was illuminated. Yeah, something was definitely illuminated. Somebody had been watching something, gaining some type of like clarity about something. Doing some research. The moon. And then page of wands. So somebody wants to communicate with someone. This is something that's unknown. Like something that's hidden. Somebody wants to communicate with someone that they've been watching. The world. This is a cycle that has ended out. This person could have ended some type of cycle out. With whatever they were researching, it gave them some type of clarity. Um, something was illuminated to that person. And it's like they want to communicate with someone after finding out something that has, you know, helped them complete a cycle. Then you have Ace of Cups. And then the Chariot. So this could be like new feelings that they have for someone. They want to go towards that person and take action towards whatever feelings that they have for this person that they've been watching. Six of Swords. Somebody is moving. Three of Cups, yeah. So this person is getting ready to take action towards whoever this person is that they have feelings for. They're going towards that person, Six of Swords, Three of Cups. They could want to celebrate with that person, reconcile with that person. And then Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, they want to, this person wants to work with this person. It's like they have passion to work with this person. Six of Wands and Ten of Wands. It's like this person could be, you know, someone who has worked hard. This person has a lot of responsibility, but this person is someone who works very hard. And they could be someone that is, you know, having victory. They're getting some type of public recognition and they um, made a lot of progress. So someone has watched whoever this person is that they're going towards work hard on something. This person has had a lot of um, things through in their face that they did not see. A lot of stuff on their back that they couldn't weigh, but they still came out having some type of victory. They've still progressed. Seven of Cups, yeah. And then the Strength card, yeah. Somebody, they're confused as to how strong that person is. This is someone that's very strong. It could have been a lot of people trying to place burdens on this person's back. Or, you know, throw stuff in that person's face. And they could be confused as to how strong this person, how is this person so strong? It's like whatever is thrown at this person, it gives them more courage. It gives them more inner strength and it keeps that person more focused. It's like working under pressure. 
Yeah, they don't know how they don't know how this part. And if this is you, this is someone that's watching you and they don't know how you do it. They don't know how, you know, you continue to stay so strong when you're constantly in this ten of wands energy, having re extra responsibility, just being weighed down. It's a lot of hard work. But you always complete it. Completion is here. Yeah, they want to team up with you. Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you with whatever whatever it is that you're doing. Queen of Pentacles. And then Three of Wands. Yeah. It's like you definitely made a decision to work hard. You're someone that has a lot of foresight. It's like you look at things for the long haul, like the long, um, for your future. And this is why you're working so hard. Yeah, you definitely made a decision to nurture yourself, work on yourself, and work on whatever it is that you want out of life. Whatever you go through, it pushes you to um, stay more focused. It pushes you to move forward. Because it's like you know what you want out of life. Knight of Swords. Yeah, and you're someone that defends whatever it is that you believe in. It's like you're always coming in quick with the truth. You defend whatever it is that you believe in. So if you're someone that's a strong believer in God, you always defend that. You're very organized and or you know oriented. It's like you're driven to succeed. And this is how this person is viewing you, and they want to come toward you and work with you. Knight of Wands. And then Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so whoever, it's like somebody is upset because this Knight of Swords and Knight of Wands popped out. I'm thinking, who is this Knight of Swords? You know, this could be someone who did something too quick or um, they don't like the fact that you're in this Queen of Pentacles energy. They don't like the fact that you're someone that has a lot of inner strength and you have courage and you're very focused. This person is upset because you're someone that's a nine of pentacles. It's like you're self-made, self-sufficient, independent. You don't depend on people. You depend on yourself. And this is why you work very hard. Now, whoever this knight of wands energy is, this is someone that's very immature. You know, they jump from the knight of wands to the knight of swords. Uh, um, type of person that does stuff without thinking. This could be someone that is loose with their sexuality. They live life without a care. They just, you know, kick it, celebrate, party. And they don't think about, you know, um, they're not business oriented. And this person is definitely not someone that's focused. So it's like they're focused on you and they're jealous of who you are. They're angry because of you, you know, being seen for who you truly are. This could be someone that you're attached to or you were attached to. This could be someone that, oh, yeah. You have the two of cups and seven of cups. This is someone who tried to confuse the person that wants to partner up with you, work with you. This could be someone who wants to be in a relationship with you. And somebody, whoever this knight of wands is, this could be a third party. Like a third party interference. So they tried to confuse this person, your two of cups. And um, they tried to play some type of illusion over that person. And they could be sitting back trying to figure out, you know... You know, why are you so strong? They're confused. This person could have tried to confuse you or play some type of illusion around you and it didn't work. They didn't know they were confusing their self. Yeah, somebody definitely tried to confuse your, your two of cups. You have the ace of swords that just popped out, you know, sideways. 
So it's like they didn't want someone to find out the truth about something or they didn't want anyone to know that they spoke the truth about something. But it's like with it coming out sideways, everything is coming out. Somebody is finding out the truth about some type of confusion that um, whoever this immature person is did to either them or tried to place around you. Could have been both people because you have the two of cups and seven of cups. Yeah, Knight of Swords. This person was pissed off because something came out and they didn't want it to come out. Like they didn't want, possibly they didn't want people to believe it. So whoever spoke the truth, they didn't want people to believe that person. They didn't want whoever this energy is, this person that wants to partner up with you. They didn't want them to believe it because they could be attached to this person or they were attached to this person. And this is why they did something like out of anger. Yeah, for a sword, something was laid to rest or they wanted someone to feel isolated and alone. Ten of Cups. Yeah. They wanted someone to feel isolated and alone. And it's like it didn't work. If you were in this four of swords energy, maybe you were recovering from something. You could have been getting enlightened. You were healing, cleansing yourself, getting spiritually aligned, getting woke, recharging your energy. And this is why you're in this, you know, you have a lot of inner strength. You're very strong. You could have spent some time away from your family, ten of cups, four of swords. But this person wanted you to feel, you know, abandoned, left alone, isolated from happiness. This person does not want you to be happy, whoever this energy is. But yeah, you were protecting yourself. You were guarding your energy, just gaining your strength back. I mean, you're someone that's always overworking or have some type of extra responsibility. So you needed time to rest. Yeah. And it's like whoever this person is that's in the four of swords, they have a lot of like a lot of protection around them. And it's like that heart is intact because it's also like a heart tied to a string and those strings are attached to these branches that's protecting this person. So you were definitely healing. Ace of Cups. Yeah, you were taking out time to love yourself. And show yourself love. Could have been the type of person that always show love to everybody else, but you weren't getting it in return. So you had to put that into yourself, like self-love. Six of Cups. And then the Will of Fortune. Yeah, so whoever this person is that's coming back towards you, this is destined to take place. The Will of Fortune is here. Whoever this person is, you're supposed to be partnering up with this person. Four of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone who does not want to be rejected. Queen of Wands. And then Two of Swords. Yeah, and whoever this person is, this um, Knight of Wands energy, this is someone that lied. Somebody was trying to hide some type of insecurities, low self-esteem or something like that after getting exposed and they tried to blind somebody from the truth. They wanted whoever they lied to or wanted to blind from the truth, um, make it seem like this person was lying. So you could be this queen of wands. This person got behind the scenes and spread some type of lie on you because the truth came out. Yeah, king of swords. Yeah, it's like they, they, they lied to have somebody distance their self from you or this could have been an authority figure that they lied to. The hair font. And then the hermit. The sun car, yeah. So whoever the hermit is, that person is the person that have been investigating. Because this king of swords could be, you know, someone that's watching something, observing, investigating, gaining mental clarity, um, finding out the truth about something. 
But yeah, you have the hermit here. The hair found when somebody was in hermit mode, it's like they found God. They started trusting in God to reveal something with the sun coming out, whatever was hidden. And a lot of stuff started being illuminated to that person. So if they tried to spread some type of lie on you, God came in and, and exposed the truth to that person. Because whatever someone spoke that was true, either you or someone else, it still came out. And this could be why this person is pissed. Somebody was trying hard to, you know, make you out to be a lie or someone else out to be a lie. And it did not work. Yeah, nine of wands is here. They did this over and over again. This is someone that's dealing with some type of abandonment issue. Some, you know, different things that they need to heal. And instead of healing, they try to take it out on other people. And they do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, this is this is a lot of stuff that this person is hiding. This person is hiding the fact that they're in fear of being alone. So they act in an immature way. They do a lot of stuff quick without thinking. And whatever came out that they were hiding, they did not expect for that to come out. And they got upset, like pissed. Then they did more things without thinking. It only caused them to be exposed. You know, be seen for who they truly are tower yeah everything came out this person is sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices all of the everything that they were hiding it exploded it came out this person created a disaster for themselves because they continue to do the same thing over and over again expecting to get some type of different results and it just did not work This is someone who likes to provoke people. And they'll do it over and over again instead of dealing with whatever issues that, you know, they don't like about their self. Things that they need to heal. This is someone that's very immature. And it's like if something happened to them when they were a child and they're heartbroken about it, they're depressed about it. They're in that same, you know, mindset. Very immature. And it's like a child that's acting out, you know, wanting their way. And they're still not getting anything different out of whatever they're trying to get. They get the same results, doing the same thing over and over. It's like stuck in a never-ending cycle. Yeah, somebody got caught out on whatever they had been doing and they were pissed. Yeah, the strength card is here again and then the world yeah this definitely helps someone gain their inner strength back because if they tried to confuse somebody um that wanted to partner up with you because they wanted to hold on to that person it helped that person gain their inner strength back seeing this person do the same thing over and over and over again and it's like endless of the same results it's just tired in and it definitely helps somebody complete a cycle and end something out yeah, and they're on the chariot. It's like this person is taking action and moving forward. Somebody is tired of being in the same never-ending cycle. Yeah, somebody definitely put an end to something to start something new. Yeah, you have the devil on the bottom of the deck. So this could have been a karmic cycle. This could have been a karmic relationship that someone needed to end out. But it's like they had to sit back in hermit mode, gain their strength and clarity, you know, gain some inner guidance, start using their intuition more, setting healthy boundaries, meditating and praying, you know, asking God to reveal different things to them so they would be able to move forward. So whoever this person is, they're coming towards you. They needed to find out a lot of stuff that was hidden because they were blinded from the truth. They were lied to. It was a lot of confusion around them. But it helped this person grow. Like, you know, gain some type of inner strength and courage to complete a cycle out that they did not want to be in anymore. 